Once again, Paul writing to the Ephesian church in chapter 1 from verse 17 onwards is praying to the Father so that God will grant to these precious saints a spirit of wisdom and of revelation. That spirit of wisdom and revelation gives you a deep and personal intimate insight into the true knowledge of who the Father is. Why? Because we all know the Father through the Son. That's right. Amen. And today, friends, I pray that as Paul has written this epistle to the Ephesians church, that God through the Holy Spirit will give us that deep spiritual wisdom and revelation. That's right. Paul also goes on to say in verse 18, and I also pray that the eyes of your heart, hallelujah, the very thing that opens our heart, the very center and core of our being may be enlightened. That is right, flooded with light. And how does that light come about? Only through the Holy Spirit. Why do we have to have that light? So that we will know and cherish the hope, the divine guarantee, the confident expectation to which he has called you and I, friends. That's right. The riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints of God, God's people. Why do we need all of this, friends? So that we will begin to know, we will begin to understand and appreciate the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of who God is, the active spiritual power that is operating in us for those that believe. Well, friends, I gave you a lot of words. The bottom line is, God wants us to know our purpose and why we are, we are here on earth. That spiritual wisdom to open the eyes of our heart. And friends, there's too little time right now to go into great detail. I'm going to preach this sermon in our in-person service on Sunday and I'm gonna run it again in our live stream the following week I'm encouraging you to either come and or listen to our live stream as well friends this is such great revelation if we know who we are then we know our purpose and why we on this earth mighty God and Heavenly Father Again, Dad, we come in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for your word found, Father, in Ephesians. And today, Daddy, for those of us that are wandering aimlessly on this earth, just living life on a day-to-day -day basis, Father, your plan is for us to have that divine revelation, that spiritual wisdom, Daddy, to know you intimately, to know our purpose, why you placed us on this earth. Father, we're just not occupying space. You, Father, we have your plans that need to unfold in our lives to fulfill our purpose. So, Daddy, so that the, your glory will be seen by all men through us. Father, help us to recognize this, to latch onto this, to live a purpose-driven life. I pray that, Dad. I speak it. I declare it over everyone that's listening today that we would live this divine purpose-driven life. I declare it in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, spiritual wisdom to open the eyes of your heart. Pray and ask God to, to give you that wisdom, to give you that revelation so that you could live and fulfill God's purpose 
God's plan in your life. Until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.